treat a lady? Didn't your mother teach you any manners? Your words grate my ears. A good child should be silent and stay out of bars. I told you I need to speak to the owner. It's important. He might know where my little sister is. A child in a bar is like a fish in a tree. You must search elsewhere. Oh, fine. If you're going to be a complete pighead about it, I'll go and ask the guards by the gate instead. <sighs> I suppose. Listen, 
You and I need to talk, but my little sister is missing, so I have to go and find her first. I never thought I'd finally meet you in a place like this. It's funny how things work out. Finally. I was wondering where you'd got to. Come join me. This turned out to be a pretty good idea. We've got the place to ourselves, so we may as well enjoy it. We've earned a little break, wouldn't you say? Can't take it easy for too long, though. Sooner or later, those creeps are going to catch up with us. So. You've been scoping out the town, huh? See anything interesting? Ah, her? Yeah, she was sniffing around here, too. She's way too young to be hanging around in bars, though. No wonder they kicked her out. I don't envy her having a kid sister to run around after. They have a habit of causing headaches. Did you just say something? Where are you? Where did you go? Huh? 
I is that a g g <laughs> I can't find you anywhere. <sighs> you scared us there for a second. What are you doing in here? I was waiting in the end. You, you said you were going to take, take a bath, but, but you never came back. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you go? Why, why, why did you leave me all on my own? <laughs> Sounds like she's lost someone. <gasps> Wait. This must be the girl whose big sister's looking for her. Why don't we see what we can do to help? How about you dry your eyes and tell us your name, kid? Nice to meet you, Connie. Why don't you come with us, and we'll help you find whoever it is you're looking for. Uh, really? <laughs> Thank you. Listen, you listen I to me, you a little girl. Question. I'm have telling you, you I haven't seen not? your sister. <gasps> well, well, what do you know? Looks like she's picking fights with grown ups again. <sighs> hmm. I wish they told me they only let complete pigheads live in this stupid town before I bothered coming here. Kid, good news. We found your sister. Why so shy? Aren't you pleased to see your big sis? She's. Huh? I don't know why you're looking so pleased with yourself. That's not my sister. I've never seen this girl before in my life. I don't have any brothers or sisters. I've lost my daddy. Gosh, where do I start? 
Did you not think of, I don't know, maybe asking her who she was looking for instead of jumping to idiotic conclusions? Listen, short stuff. I'm not gonna let a little brat like you speak to me like that. <sighs> I hate to point this out, but you don't have time to be standing there getting your knickers in a twist. You've got a daddy to find. Listen, I want to talk to the owner of that bar, but I can't get in there on my own. Can I come with you? Thanks. I'll never get in there otherwise. You're a lifesaver. I'm Veronica, by the way. Right, let's get going, shall we? I'll look after this little one. Don't worry. You don't have to rely on these two dunderheads anymore. We'll find your daddy in no time. You'll see. <laughs> Thank you. Kids these days, huh? No respect for their elders. Welcome to our inn, a safe haven in life's storm. Come and make merry. <gasps> Warnings unheeded, the fish returns to the tree. What can deter her? She's with us. Do you have a problem with that? Understanding door. The fish has a chaperone. She is uh, welcome here. <laughs> no one's sitting here, are they? Service, if you please. Huh? <sighs> a fearsome young pup. Perhaps tea will soften her. A fine, warming brew. That sounds lovely, but I don't have time for tea, I'm afraid. I'm looking for someone. I'll get straight to the point. There's a girl called Serena. Blonde hair, looks a lot like me. Have you seen her? Serena. Yes, now I recall. The young girl sought her sister but left without joy. That'll be her. Did she say where she was going? Westward, she wandered. Sensing her sister, she said, guided by voices. Huh? Westward? Oh, the idiot must have gone to help me, and I was already back here! Oh... I was kidnapped, you see. I was in the bathhouse when some monsters attacked me. They took me off to their lair. I managed to escape. So I came back to find Serena, but it looks like now she's gone to try and rescue me. Right, you lot. You're no ordinary travellers. Anyone with eyes can see that. I don't have time to explain all the ins and outs of it right now, but I need you to help me go and find my sister. Are you in? Have you never heard of a thing called chivalry? It means that when a damsel in distress asks you for help, you say yes. So, will you help me or not? I knew you wouldn't let me down. Are you leaving? I want to come with you. Sorry, you're staying put. But don't worry, I think I know where your dad might be. We'll find him for you, so be a good little girl till we get back. You do realize you're a little girl too, right? You sure you're gonna be able to keep up? <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? Veronica, sage of Arborea and mighty magician, can keep up with riffraff like you any day. I'm more worried about you slowing me down, if I'm completely honest. Right. Let's head west, shall we? 
The monster's lair is a giant underground labyrinth out that way. I'm pretty sure we'll find Serena in there somewhere. The entrance is on the coast. I know exactly who you are, you know. Don't let me down.
forgot there's a trap up ahead i forget my shadow if it wasn't sewn on i can't go falling into my own trap now can i what would the others say right i'd better go the long way round Else wants some. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's one heck of a fountain to be hidden away down here. Oh. Wait, over there! <sighs> Serena, wake up! It's me, Veronica. Hmm? That's your sister? Serena! We said we'd always be there for each other, didn't we? Well, I'm here for you now. So pull yourself together! Oh, I'm ever so sorry. It's just I... Well, I was so awfully tired after all that searching that I needed a nap and... Veronica! It, is that really you? What in the world has happened to you? But how did you know it was me? <laughs> We've been sisters a long time, you know. It would take a lot more than a new look to fool me. <laughs> oh yes, very funny. What were you doing lying on the ground like that? I... I thought you were... Well, that you were... You know... <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the reunion, but didn't you tell us Serena was your kid sister? <sighs> well, if you want to get technical about it, actually we're twins. But we don't look the same age anymore because, well, it's all a bit complicated. I told you I was taken off by monsters, didn't I? They've been kidnapping people so they can steal their magical powers. Well, I wasn't going to let them have mine without putting up a fight. But the more I resisted, the younger I got. I don't quite understand it, but instead of draining my magic, they drain my... age. <sighs> what I'm basically saying is that I'm not a child. So stop treating me like one! Okay, we get it, we get it. You're not a kid. But you still look like one. Don't you want to do something about it? <laughs> of course I do. Why do you think I brought you here? I want you to help me clobber those stupid monsters and see if we can fix this. You will help us, won't you? I promise to do my bit as well. I have some really rather wonderful healing spells, you know. Forgot. You need a password to get through here. 
and it was um uh, it was Humra Kadambra. Jarvis, that you let that lovely, juicy specimen escape, and you think an apology's gonna cut it? Ooh, this jars. Do you crackpots think sorcerers like Veronica come along often? Do you have any idea what we'll have to do to nab a specimen like that again? You knew I wanted to drain all her magic so I could earn the Lord of Shadow's respect when he came back. Oh. The Lord of Shadows? That's them. They're the monsters who jumped me in the bathhouse and brought me here. See that jar by the big fat one? That's what he was sucking all my magic powers into. Then I guess we'd better figure out how to get them back. Mm -hmm. Veronica. Huh? <gasps> oh, Smashy. I do love guests. <gasps> <laughs> Especially when they bring me presents, if it isn't the one that got away. Talk about it in the jackpot. Now, just sit tight while we suck every ounce of magic out of you. Boys, this lot have earned a VIP treatment. Get cracking! <laughs> Looks like we'll be fighting our way out of this one, whether we like it or not. <laughs> okay.
Shadow right hand man, if I can't even beat the likes of you lot. Ugh. All my dreams shattered. Who is this Lord of Shadows you keep mentioning anyway? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough when everything finally goes. To pot. <sighs> we'll find out soon enough, huh? <sighs> right. Time to get my magic back. works. To worry on that front. I can feel the old magic zinging from the ends of my pigtails right down to the tips of my toes. But then why do you still look like a little girl? Oh. I'm not really sure. I suppose whatever made me younger can't be fixed just by getting my powers back. But it could be worse. 
I mean, you know what they say. You're only young. Twice. Trust you to see the funny side. Well, I suppose I'd better get used to having a twin sister half my size. By the way, you have noticed who we're traveling with, haven't you? Of course I have. And so have you, it seems. Shall we? Mm -hmm. Luminary, Yggdrasil's chosen. Long have we waited to greet you. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. There are those who would accuse you of bringing disaster on our world. Please, you must rest assured that they are wrong. You are a hero. The light in your eyes, the light told of in the legends of Arborea, it proves that beyond a doubt. <laughs> I knew it was you the moment I saw you. So now you have magical twins swearing to serve and protect you? I guess you really are the luminary, huh? Not that I ever doubted it, of course. There's plenty more we need to talk about, but we have to take care of something first. I wasn't the only one they were keeping prisoner, you know. Now... If I remember rightly, there should be a door around here somewhere. and his cronies. Thanks! I owe you one. I was starting to worry they were going to get sick of feeding me and decide to eat me instead. You were starting to worry? And what about your poor little daughter all on her own, hmm? How do you think she's been feeling? Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. Wait. You know Connie? We do. And she's fine, thanks for asking. The owner of the bar back in town is looking after her. He's a mature, responsible adult, you see. Oh. Listen, I appreciate your help, really, I do. I'm Noah, by the way. If there's anything I can do to repay you, just say the word. Noah? Where have I heard that name before? Huh. Look, I've taken up enough of your time. I should, uh, get back and see how uh, Connie's doing. <laughs> Thanks a million. Well, he certainly left in rather a hurry. You can say that again. Very fishy. Well, never mind. We should head back too. We deserve a rest.
awake at last, huh? Don't worry, we all just woke up too. And now we're up. It's time to continue our little talk from before about Serena and I and how we're going to help you. Hmm. We have a legend in Arborea. It says that one day the Dark One will descend to extinguish the light, but that Yggdrasil's chosen, the Luminary, bearer of the Mark of Light, will rise to meet him. I know it's hard to believe. I mean, look at you. But it's true. You're the reincarnation of the Luminary, the man who defeated the Dark One long ago. I still can't work out why they'd need to bring you back if the Dark One was defeated, to be honest. But ours is not to reason why. Once we fulfill our sacred duty and get you to Yggdrasil, I'm sure all will be revealed. Yggdrasil, huh? Well, I for one want to know what the heck's going on. Let's mosey on over there. Have you ever tried thinking before opening your big mouth? In case you hadn't noticed, Yggdrasil is floating in the sky. Mosey, he says, honestly. They say that the Luminary visited the World Tree before his battle with the Dark One. But alas, the legends do not tell us how. What? Not even you special protectors of the magical ancient wonder truths know? Bummer. Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil. Wait, I think I might have an idea. Really? What is it? You know that guy we bust out of jail yesterday? I remembered where I know him from. He sells information to, uh, people in my profession. And you think he might know how we can reach the World Tree? Wonderful! Well, what are we waiting for? To the bar! Daddy, let's go. The nice man who keeps bringing you drinks must be getting tired. Just one more for the road, sweetie. You never know. He might have some hot gossip that I need to hear. <laughs> Fishing for rumors, huh? Some things never change. You're Noah, right? In the circles I used to move in, you were pretty famous. You were the guy who knew things. For the right price. No nugget of knowledge too big or too small. Noah the know-it-all knows them all. That's what they used to say, huh? <laughs> and what if they did? I can't help it if juicy tidbits have an habit of falling in me lap now, can I? Well, I don't go trying to get mixed up in this stuff. It just happens. Like when I mistookenly went in the ladies' baths and then monsters they kidnapped me. I only stuck me head in there to see what all the commotion was and there they was, attacking some poor girl. Normally, I would have walloped a lot of them, of course, but I just had me tea. The villains collared the both of us and, well, I just hope she's all right. <sighs> she... kind of. Anyway, we were wondering if you might be able to help us out. What do you know about Yggdrasil? Crikey. You lot don't do things by us, do ya? Got a big score in mind, eh? Well, seeing as how you saved me life, I'll tell you what I know. On the way here, Connie and me was travelling across the desert. When we came down, we have a bad case of heat stroke. We didn't have no grub left, no water, nothing. We'd just about given up hope. But then, 
these soldiers from Galopolis came along. Next thing I know, I'm waking up in the Sultan's Bleeding Palace. Oh, talk about lucky. Anyway, when I come to, that's when I seen it. Beautiful it was, this rainbow-coloured branch thing. Oh, shimmery and beautiful. Well, I know top end gear when I see it. If that weren't a branch of the old world tree, I'm a monkey's uncle. Did you hear that, Veronica? A branch from Yggdrasil herself? Yes. Lighting the path ahead for the luminary. It sounds like we need to take a trip to Galopolis. So it turns out you are capable of having ideas that aren't completely stupid after all. <laughs> we should head for the desert right away. It's beyond the checkpoint southwest of here. That marks the border with Galopolis. I do hope you won't mind us tagging along. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. To Galopolis. The guards at the checkpoint are awful sticklers for formalities, but if you show them that, they should let us through. <laughs> <laughs> 